All right, so in this video, I am going to do a tutorial on how to do a virtual background on Zoom. So as you can see, I've got a lovely beach setup going on behind me, but in actuality, uh, I'm just in my office, as you can see with the white background behind me. So this is going to work best if you do have quite a plain background behind you. So obviously I have mostly white behind me, a little bit of um, the window showing over there, but if you've got quite a busy background, you might have some trouble with this, especially if there's movement in the background. So ideally you want to have um, a plain background behind you, but to show you how to get into the setting, you may have just seen it there, but once you are in your meeting, um, actually, before you jump into your meeting, the first thing that you should do is check that Zoom is up to date. So to do this, open up your Zoom um, and go into, if it's on a Mac, it's nice and easy. You just go here, wherever it is that you need to check for updates. So you'll open that up and you can see here, mine is up to date. So sometimes I've found that I go into a meeting, I go to put a virtual background on and it doesn't work because the app's not up to date. So just double check that before you go any further. Once it's up to date and you're in a meeting, you can do this on a test meeting like I am here where I'm the only one in here so that you're not doing this while you're actually trying to run something. So I definitely recommend testing it out before um, wanting to use it live. So once you're in your meeting and your video is on, you just click this little um, up arrow here next to your video and click choose virtual background. And then it's going to show you the defaults that Zoom has available to you. So you've got the Golden Gate Bridge, you've got some nice grass, uh, you've got a little out of space theme um, going on over there. And then there's a couple of video ones as well, like the Northern Lights and then that nice beach one that I had as well, if you're really feeling the tropical vibes. Um, if you have a green screen as well, they've got an option for you to tick that that's gonna give you a better, even better quality. So you can see right now it's even, um, oh, where is it there? It's kind of taking out a little bit of my, my chair headrest, but when I move, it gets a little bit buggy. So. Like I said, the plainer your background, the more success you're gonna have with this. Cool, so we'll leave that on for now and I'll show you how to create them yourself. So you can actually use any video or photo that you already have on your device, but if you want to create something specifically for whatever purpose you're using it for, then I'll show you how to whip something up really quickly. Um, so applications of this might be, firstly, if you just want to have a little bit of fun in your meeting, spice things up a bit, if you're a bit sick of having your plain background, or alternatively, they're really great for branding as well. So particularly if you're running a webinar or if you're doing a Facebook Live into a group and you want to have a bit of branding on there as well in case someone stumbles upon it that they actually know who you are and what it is that you're doing. So I'll show you how to make a quick branded one now using Canva. So obviously if you have Photoshop and you're familiar with Photoshop and you can whip your way around that, Photoshop's a great tool to use for that. But if you don't have Photoshop, Canva is nice and easy and it's free and they've already got the functionality for Zoom virtual backgrounds set up. So um, the typical dimensions of this are 1280 by 720. So if you type in Zoom virtual background, um, into Canva. So Canva is just canva.com. Like I said, it's free. Um, or you can do the premium version if you want a bit of extra functionality. But Zoom virtual background is here. And then they give you a couple of options. So you can download one of the ready-made ones or you can customize it further like the Earth or the aquarium kind of scenes um, or this funky space thing which might be good if you're running some kind of meditation maybe. Um, and so on. So let's just start with a blank one here. I've actually whipped something up already, but I'll just recreate it here and show you guys the process that I went through. So in here, I've already got my assets uploaded, but you can just drag and drop things in here. So I'm just gonna create this as though we are doing it for the Digital Marketers Quiz Night. So I'm just gonna come in here and do a little crop. So what's really important is that you don't put things right at the edge of the screen because it does get a little bit chopped off. So I tend to kind of come in a little bit, but being mindful that your head's gonna come in here. So you want to make sure that you're not going to be blocking off um, your text. And there is gonna be a bit of trial and error in with this. I should really have had the black logo for this, but I'm just gonna come in here and do some adjustments. Cool. And then I'm going to put a black, orange background on this actually. Cool. So I could leave it at that and I will download a version of this that's just that. Perfect. But I actually want to take it a step further and put a little bit of animation in here. So I'm going to scroll down until I find 
some funky confetti. This one looks good um, because I'm going to have this going behind me because quiz nights are fun and they're a bit of a party situation. So just whatever fits your vibe and whatever it is um, that you're using this for, obviously. So cool, pop that down there and I'm going to pull this through to the back. And this looks good to me. So let's download that. Perfect. Okay, then let's go back into Zoom again. And we're going to swap out and see how we did. So I'll close that. That's the version I tested earlier. And let's have a look. Cool. So you can kind of see the preview in here. Obviously, it is a little bit um, uh, coming behind me a little bit. So I could either go in and resize that. But you can see in the background here that the actual screen isn't quite showing as much space here, which is why I wanted to have that extra allowance for that. So simple fix for this, Ooh, this way, there we go. If I just swivel that around a little bit. Now, obviously I'm not centered anymore, but you can see my assets really well, that side, sorry. Uh, and then I can add in a video here as well. So we can test out the animation, Let's see how it goes. So this is where it is really important that you do have that um, 1280 by 720 aspect ratio because the video functionality won't accept anything different. You can see I do have a little bit of um, the crop lines in the background here on this version. So ideally you want to make sure that you're using a vector image if you're going to be putting it over things like this. So you can see the, the logo down here functions a lot better with these animations going behind it than this one here, which I just whipped in quickly. Um, so yeah, spend a little bit of time here testing it out, making sure it all looks how you want it to look. But if you're happy with it, Ta-da, there's your little background, um, adds a little bit of something extra on it. Like I said, if you're running a webinar, it could be good to have your logo in this side <laughs> over there uh, to help you out with your branding a little bit. But um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, just let us know and we will be happy to help you out at Digital Distillery. Thanks guys. If you liked this video and found it useful, comment down below to let us know what you'd like to see next. While you're at it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Facebook ads marketing tip with Digital Distillery again. See you in our next video.